I'm Mike with Lenovo. To perform the duties required of a PC field technician, you need to have a toolkit that contains all the right tools. That's what we're going to talk about today. Your most used tool will definitely be a screwdriver. A good kit will have many types and sizes of screwdrivers, as well as some specialty drivers. Many technicians today are using a multi-driver with bits that are interchangeable. The larger screwdrivers will be useful on desktop systems due to the larger screws used on certain parts, like a computer cover or a heatsink. The smaller screwdrivers will be useful on laptops, convertibles, and tablets. Phillips screwdrivers are most commonly used, but occasionally you'll need a flathead or a specialty driver. Some of the specialty drivers you might need are Torx drivers and Torx security drivers. They will be useful on certain machines like some of the yoga systems. A good PC repair kit will also require some pry tools for working on laptops, convertibles, tablets, and some desktops. There are many types of pry tools available, including some made of metal, but we recommend only using non-metallic pry tools to prevent servicer-induced damage. The spudger is a great tool for disconnecting antenna cables from a wireless LAN or wireless WAN card. They can also be used for removing covers from systems that have edges that snap together. There are usually defined entry points for inserting a pry tool on the edge of a system, and then you can work your way around the edge to unsnap the clips. Tweezers are helpful when handling very small components or cables. Use only non-metallic tweezers or tweezers that have a special coating to protect against electrostatic discharge. Every PC toolkit needs a flashlight that is bright and portable. Small LED flashlights are a perfect fit. Also be sure to keep a few extra batteries in your kit. Anti-static devices mitigate the effects of electrostatic discharge. These should be included in every PC toolkit. An anti-static mat and wrist strap can help protect components from damage. Desktop towers and small form factor systems sometimes have cables that can block airflow. This can lead to some components overheating. Using zip ties to hold cables in place will help reduce the risk of overheating and can make servicing the computer easier by holding cables out of your way. An anti-static vacuum can be used to remove dust and debris from inside the system without the risk of electrostatic discharge. A portable anti-static vacuum should be part of every PC toolkit. A power supply tester is an important tool to carry in your PC toolkit. Sometimes the symptom of a problem can mislead a technician to believe that a problem exists in one component when it's actually a faulty power supply. A technician's toolkit is not complete without thermal compound. If you have to replace a processor or a heat sink, you will most likely need to apply thermal compound unless it is pre-applied to the heat sink. Some screws in notebooks and tablets have a blue coating that locks the threads when the screw is installed. This coating is not as effective once the screw has been removed, so it's recommended that you use new screws instead. Lenovo makes these available in system-specific screw kits, ensuring that you have all the screws you need to service the machine. USB keys are an essential part of a PC toolkit. These keys can be used for bootable diagnostics like Lenovo Solution Center or for using the maintenance key which you will need if you have to replace a system board. You can also use the digital download recovery service to download the files you need to create a Lenovo recovery USB. Some systems still use recovery media on DVD, so you may need an external DVD drive to perform the system recovery process. This concludes our video on the PC toolkit. Hopefully now you'll have a good idea of what tools you'll need to service Lenovo products.